certain attacks. A diplomatic cable posted by the whistleblowing site WikiLeaks on Monday shows the Vatican dismissed reports of violence under the brutal rule of Chile's Augusto Pinochet as communist propaganda. In a cable sent to Secretary of State Henry Kissinger in 1973, five weeks after democratically elected President Salvador Allende was toppled in a U.S. back coup, a Vatican official was quoted expressing, quote, his and the Pope's grave concern over the successful international leftist campaign to misconstrue completely realities of Chilean situation, unquote. Thousands of people were killed under Pinochet's regime, and many more were tortured. The cable showed the Vatican later realized the abuses were taking place, but continued diplomatic relations with Chile and refused to criticize Pinochet publicly. The documents were released by WikiLeaks in a new searchable database dubbed the Kissinger Cables. The files also include notes from a 1975 conversation where Secretary of State Kissinger is quoted saying, quote, the illegal we do immediately, the unconstitutional takes a little longer, unquote. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange spoke about the files from his refuge inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he remains holed up to avoid extradition to Sweden on allegations of sex assault. He's concerned if he is sent to Sweden, he will then be extradited to the United States. In a video address, Assange called the release, quote, the single most significant geopolitical publication that has ever existed. Orwell once said that he who controls the present controls the past, and he who controls the past controls the future. Our analysis shows that the U.S. administration cannot be trusted with its control of the past. We have pulled together 2 million documents, 250,000 documents from our previous release, Cablegate, 1.7 million uh, documents uh, pulled uh, from the National Archives and put them together into an integrated format, uh, a search system that we are very proud of. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.